Oh, I can't even see it. What? Where is it? Excuse me? Do you see that? <laughs> I got my hands on the new LYS Triple Fix Blurring and Hydrating Skin Tint Foundation Stick. They retail for $25. It provides medium coverage, natural finish. And you know what natural means. It's gonna give us skin a nice glow, which I'm into these days because the weather is getting warmer. You don't always want that matte look. You feel what I'm saying? I was sent two shades, DPP1 and DPN1. And there are three shades darker than the two that I have. Okay. The darkest one that I have is DPPN1. This is Mocha Blush. Let's watch this and see how it looks. It's for dark brown skin with pink, oh no, undertones. Oh, I might not be able to do this. Dang, I just knew it. Oh, I wish I was sent a darker one. No, that's not what I like. Cause see, I, ne I need it to be darker. Look at the lower part of my face. And since that's the darkest one that I have, then the next one's not gonna match. It's lighter than this one. It's DPN1. This is Mocha Neutral and it's for dark skin with neutral undertones. Oh. I have to go buy the other two. This would match the middle of my face, but all over my face after I had that in contour, this is not gonna make me happy. I just know it. So if you're looking, you're thinking, oh, that matches perfectly. Let's add some more light. It matches my face, but not my body. And when I finish the whole face, I'm going to feel way too light. Okay, we tried. Let's pick a different foundation. I do have three foundations from one size. Let's see if one of these matches me because this is just a free for all at this point. <laughs> I have the Turn Up The Base Full Beat Liquid Foundations from One Size Beauty. And here's the shade range so you can see. I have Deepest 15NG, Deepest 25R, and Deepest 35NG. So there are three shades darker than what I have. Weightless, long wear, full, ooh, full coverage, I love that. Full coverage, soft matte finish, love that. Waterproof, sweat proof. Okay, listen, Patrick loves a good full coverage foundation and so do I. You gotta shake it well, I love a good pump. And I can tell from my hand if it's my shade, watch. Yeah, I think this is my shade. Deepest 15 Neutral Golden. Okay, Deepest 15 Neutral Golden. Yes, I like that shade. <laughs> you might be like, what? No, I like it. What? Okay, Deepest 15 Neutral Golden. Then the next one is Deepest 25R. I don't like red. I used to use red foundations back in the day when I didn't know what I was, I mean, I knew what I was doing, but I thought red was for me. And the more I wore it, I was like, I don't like this redness. You feel me? Deepest 25R. I like how deep this is. And literally, I would wear this. You know my highlight my face, so I would wear this. I just don't want the R. This looks good still. I wish there was something in between or a mix. Let's move on. This is Deepest 35 Neutral Golden. Yeah, the golden looks lighter than this R. Do you see that? Huh, on the chart, this one is darker than this one. The undertone is different. So you see, you gotta look at the undertone and you gotta, you really gotta swatch. Yo, I might need to go red. I don't like to go red, but I might need to go red. Although I know you're looking at me screaming, do this one. Which one are you telling me to do? <laughs> Let me blend out the first one with my finger. Let's go with the first one. This I can reserve for summertime. Let me not get too overzealous. I mean, we are in the winter. I even told myself, I was like, yo, I gotta, I gotta put aside these summer foundations because what? The, the undertones, you know what I'm saying? I'm putting both neutral goldens next to each other. This is 25 and this is 35. Now that I put them together, it's saying something different to me. I believe I'm gonna go with 35 because it was looking different because I had the middle one in between the red. I'm gonna go with 35, yeah, because I don't, I think this is too light. This is too matchy-matchy to my inner face and I'm not gonna be happy. I'm gonna go here. Wow, that was a, that was a turn of events. Cause I just had to think for a second like, no, no, time ain't right. Okay, change of plans. I'm gonna go with Deepest 35 Neutral Golden. Wow, I am confident about this shade. Now let's put Deepest 35 NG all over the face because even just putting the dropper on like this, I can just tell. I know what it's supposed to look like and this looks like my shade. I'm using the Mario, I almost said Mario Badescu. What is Mario Badescu? Anyway, this is a Makeup by Mario brush that I actually, yeah, this is nice and deep. I actually like that this brush for powder, but I've just been using it for my foundation and the powder, trying to use fewer brushes. I took a lot, wow. Okay, I don't need this much, whoa. All right, now I know. I do not need this much. This is very full coverage and this shade is good nice and deep. Now I got this this uh, quick weave closure going on. So I'm doing something different. I gotta keep this on and not get makeup on it, girl. I don't even know how to live this life, but I'm figuring it out right now. <laughs> I took a lot. So wiping off excess powder on this paper towel in front of me because yeah, now I know, wow, just the two pumps is good. And then I'll spread that all over my face. Let's get the brows. Looks nice and hydrating. So I see the luminosity here. It's a soft matte finish, okay? So not like the Fenty Pro Filter. Yeah, it reminds me of the Gucci foundation, the, the light sheen that I'm seeing. I do like the goldenness of this foundation. You're probably like, girl, you look scary, but no, it's all gonna come together, don't worry. <laughs> Oh, 
I want to go the opposite direction with my concealer to balance this out a little bit. This is the Estee Lauder Soft Touch Brightening Concealer in the shade 6N. I recall this being, okay, it's too neutral. It's like boring. Uh, it's pink too, I see. Okay, I'm thinking as I look at it, it's not the direction I wanted to go in, but since I already put it on, you have to follow through. Let's blend it out using this damp beauty sponge. Yeah, it looks, it actually just melted. I can't even, yeah, it's not even light enough. What? Okay, let's blend this out and then get something else. Okay, now I can't even see it. The coverage on this is very light. If you like a light coverage product, then you're gonna like this because it melted and looks like nothing is there. But I need to see my concealer, you feel me? This one's got some yellow to it. Sephora Collection Best Skin Ever 50 and It's neutral, but see how it's, yellow let's go yellow yellow and orange a little bit of a balance there two concealers under the eye not normally what i do but i ain't got no choice right now okay this already is doing what i needed to do i'm using the lyx stick bronzer and the shade is worthy deep and the other side of this f4 mario brush to blend up this contour and this feels so strange to not go into my hairline but i know that on the sides of my hair i don't need to because of the bob and then in the front i definitely can't because of the lace you feel me so i'm doing what i can this is so odd for me and i didn't even take a lot of the contour because i can't put it in a big space wait <laughs> I was trying to, trying to figure out how to say that. Like I can't go up the way I would. You feel me? Because of the lace. Ooh, this is so crazy. Ooh, I can't wait to see how this is gonna look when I take it off. And I'm gonna keep this brush uncleaned because you know I clean my brushes in between with the Cinema Secrets brush cleaner. I'll link everything below that I'm using by the way. I'm gonna keep this uncleaned so that I can just go back a little bit as needed once I take this band off. All right, and then for my nose, I use the Sephora Collection 14 brush because that just fits nicely right up in here. You feel me? Yeah, my highlight is not as light as I would like for it to be right now. It just isn't. I might just have to deal with it. We gonna make this work. Maybe with my powder, I can intensify the highlight. Let's see. I'm taking the butt of the beauty sponge to blend out any harsh lines right at the top here. We'll deal with the bottom later okay the forehead contour does not look dark at all but maybe that's okay we'll see and the nose is pronounced but we're gonna take care of it okay all right so to set this what should i use we got kunafa from huda, huda beauty let's take this one is this the one that has a fragrance or not it does i like the way it smells let me know if you don't if you like the the fragrance version of this or if you don't i like the fragrance and then the easy bake fragrance that she took out and made a fragrance out of wow i just said fragrance too many times I made a perfume out of it i out of the actual fragrance i actually love it a lot okay so let's press, 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 make sure there's no lines. But I mean, come on, as a mature woman, I got them lines, honey. That's why I stay doing a smoky eye, at least in the bottom, because you gotta just conceal it somehow, okay? Them lines are there and they ain't going anywhere, okay? So let's just set this. We do the best we can, all right? We're gonna set this up right, with the Sephora 79 brush in, ooh, I'm making a mess, but that's okay. In the other areas of the face. Yeah, the fragrance is pronounced. I haven't used this in a while. It smells good to me. It doesn't bother me. And thank God I don't have a fragrance allergy. You know how much I love fragrance. What? If I had a fragrance allergy, I think that'd be such a cruel joke. Because I love fragrance so much. That would be terrible. So thank God I don't. Mm, 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 mm. It smells good. And then a glowish, you know, my glowish situation. We're gonna get that going over here. All over the face, I'm using the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. The shade is 85 Espresso. And I like this. Again, a nice light way to just tie it all together. Reminds me of the MAC Studio, the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. Do you also use that? Is that still a thing? I just wanna know. I've been saying this and I need to actually do it. A full face of MAC, cause it's been a long time. Ugh, I just love, ooh, oh my gosh. It's crushed, my e.l.f. powder foundation. Wow, my voice all went low. <laughs> my voice went low, it's like moment of silence. What the hell? It, how did that happen? Not you breaking up on me. Okay, I just wanna do a little bit of contour on the jawline, just a little bit. And I love this brush from LYS. It's so cute, that is in the holiday collection, what, a year ago or maybe two years ago? I think it was just this past holiday collection. So cute. All right, and then over the hairline as best as I can. <laughs> the cheek is, is nice and pronounced. I don't need to go over that again. Yo, that hairline contour I just did sick okay and see how I just used the same brush so now that I have the deep color on here there is no going back over my face I had to think because I wanted to just do this right here but that's okay because I'm doing it with the contour but yeah there is no going back over other places or else I'm gonna mess things up I had to think really fast okay where's my blush okay I've got these two blushes I want to do orange blush but I want to try these out too we've got the YSL liquid blush this is the shade 54 I'm gonna go darker and then I'm gonna go light <laughs> I'm thinking as I say it because what 
Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go on the hand because you know me. I'm not playing these games. I need to know what's going on. Okay. It's a nice move. All right. Let's take the butt out of the sponge. And I'm going to, I I pinched it. Oh, I can't even see it. What? Where is it? Excuse me? Do you see that? <laughs> These are the games. This is obviously a very soft, I'm not even gonna try the lighter color because what? This is obviously a very soft situation. Great if you want a soft look. I want to see, I'm trying to match it because once you've done it, just match it and then move on. Yeah. I wanted to give this a try, but with my deep skin tone, I'm not seeing it enough. You might be seeing a little bit, but it's not enough for me. I'm not wowed. It's very soft. So if you like a good soft liquid blush, then any like a good luxury product, honey, then you'll love this. Oh, do you hear the vacuuming? Bless God, my cleaning company's here. Let's finish this face. Dramatic brows are on, and then my smoky eye is courtesy of this coffee shop palette. I love this palette from Juvia's Place. I used this color in my crease, and then this color all over my lid. And the inner eye, I'm gonna do this little frosty situation down the bottom right. Let's see how this is gonna come out. A little olive. Uh -huh. It's different. It's cute. Love the drama. And I put a lot of blush on, so you can really see it, okay? Oh, it actually has an eyeshadow palette in here. I didn't realize it. We've got a mini eyeshadow palette. I'll use that next time. We've got a Rouge Artist lipstick. This is the shade 606. And then two liners. Although these liners don't think that, I don't think these liners are gonna match me. I'll do MAC Chestnut on the outer part of my lips. And then again, it says the matte lipstick 606. Oh, it's, oh, it's like a light, it's a, it's a light mauve. Oh, this is not what I was expecting at all. Okay, this is pretty, but darker than I wanted. So, oh, this is really pretty. It goes well with the chestnut, chestnut. It goes well with chestnut, hold on. I need to brighten it up. It is not what I was expecting at all. This is Laura Mercier lipstick. This is the shade 820 Peach Cashmere. I brightened it a little bit and it made it peach, <laughs> which is pretty. It's actually a pretty combination. This is actually pretty. It's it's still very subtle. I'm about to go eat some rice, so let me not do too much with the gloss. But this is pretty and subtle. This is a nice nude, what do you think? Here's a finished look. I love how the foundation looks. It looks soft and beautiful. Comment below and let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.